Hello everyone, welcome to another song reaction. This is taken from my, sep no, not September, October submissions on r slash Alex Heights. Head on over here if you'd like to post your own song or album reaction suggestions. We are down here in this comment from D's. Nuts. Uh, we're, we're only choosing two songs per, per submission now going forward. Uh, I, one of the ones I've chosen, obviously, from the title of this video is The Cutter. Uh, Echo and the Bunnymen, obviously one of those great post-punk, slightly dream pop, slightly jangle pop bands from the UK, from Europe, uh, in the 70s and 80s. I plan on probably doing their first four albums at some point in the future, uh, obviously I've heard the killing moon, fantastic track. One of the best post post-punk tracks out there. Um, this is from porcupine. There was a second, third album, uh, post-punk neo psych Gothic rock. It is the opening track as well. Um, I'm interested to hear other music from echo and the bunny men, because I don't know if it's going to sound similar, quite different. Um, very interested to see how this one's going to sound. If you guys end up enjoying this video, doing these things are very much appreciated. They help out the channel immensely. Uh, I think we're just ready to rock and roll. Let's go. Much more post punk. This one is odd. Instrumentation is very eclectic. Bagpipes. Is that bagpipes? Kind of reminds me of um, the uh, Swamp Thing by Chameleons in the way that like the uh, the verses are like slightly off kilter, but there's like this weird uh, shift from the weird like uh, a shift from the weirdness to a much more straightforward like pop format for the choruses. Because um, like with Swamp Thing, you have like and then like slightly off kilter do, 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 um, verses into like the so long is it for the chorus. It's a very nice breakout. This does the same kind of thing. Like the verses are kind of uncomfortable and there's like this weird frenetic friction and energy to it. Um, but then like you're greeted with something way more familiar as a release in the choruses. I've noticed that as like a songwriting motif.
and there it is. Um, I gotta say, I admire the track for being very uncompromising. Uh, that's definitely the art rock angle to it. Um, you get that with other obvious like art rock choices like Eno, Kale, Bowie, List Goes On, Gabriel, um, where it's like this like it's it's there's uncomfortableness to it but then you're like given moments of like reprieve um same thing goes like a little bit with like talking heads like i think of the song air like very kind of uncomfortable verses very comfortable chorus that kind of it's like you can relax your shoulders a little bit um yeah i mean i don't like that as much as the killing moon uh, obviously that's not a controversial thing to say i imagine but um not what I was expecting at all. Very interested in this band at this point now because they seem to toy with different types of sounds. Uh, or I shouldn't say sounds, but like tones um, and approaches. Um, and I'm very eager to see kind of how their whole arc goes as far as their like noteworthy albums. But good song. Uh, thank you very much for recommending it, uh, D's Nuts. Uh, I very much appreciate it. Uh, again, if you guys ended up enjoying this video, doing these things helps out the channel immensely. Liking, subscribing, and hitting the bell uh, so that you don't get missed on the notified of when I post the music songs. Um, yeah, that is really all I have for you guys. So um, until next time, Godspeed. <laughs>